long time ago, the distant land was ruled by a king. He was brave and kind, but he had one flaw. He was very greedy. He did not always want an expensive gift, but he wanted to be given some gift or the other. One day, the king decided to tour his kingdom. He stepped out on the palace gates and there he found a man standing with a nice fat hand in his hand. The man bowed low and said, Your Majesty, I am Gopal. I won this hand by gambling in your name. It's yours. The king was very pleased indeed. He beamed at Gopal and said, Give the hand to my poultry keeper. Gopal agreed and went away. The king was so pleased with what had happened and he promptly forgot about his tour and returned to the palace. The next day, he again decided to go up. Yet again, he saw Gopal standing outside, but this time he had a healthy sheep with him. Well, my man, what have you won in my name today? asked the king. Your Majesty, I won this sheep. It's yours, replied Gopal, going low. The king was really pleased. He said, Excellent, give it to my shepherd and return to the palace. When the third day came, the king could not wait to see what gift Gopal had brought for him. When he went out, he found Gopal standing between two tough men. There was no sign of the gift today. The king was disappointed and asked, What have you got for me, Gopal? I don't see anything. Gopal simply bowed and said, Your Majesty, I don't have anything to give you today. What? Didn't you gamble in my name? Asked the king. I did, Your Majesty, but I did not win anything. In fact, I lost all my money and I owe this man 500 gold coins each, replied Gopal. Since I played in your name, you owe me 500 gold coins each. He continued, the king was shocked and said, Oh then, it was you who gambled, not I. Gopal smiled and said, Well, sir, that's true. I was the one who gambled, but I did it in your name and gave you all my winning. Similarly, all my losses are also yours. The king realized his folly and thought, I have been very foolish and greedy. Now I have to pay for it. He turned to his minister and told him to get the money from the treasury. The king paid to men and turning to Gopal, he said, I accepted your gifts without realizing that there would be a price to pay. I have paid your debt today, but don't ever let me catch you gambling again. Gopal got blue and promising never to gamble again. He went to me.